friends hope everyone is doing good so today we're going to make a very special dish okay it's um, egg curry with drumsticks not many must have tried it but it's a very common dish that's made in andhra and telangana region very very tasty and very very simple to make so first let's see what are the ingredients so as you can see here i have boiled some eggs and peeled it Along with this, I have taken about three to four uh, medium-sized onions, which I have chopped into small pieces. Also, uh, two to three small-sized uh, tomatoes, which are again chopped into small pieces. Few uh, chili, green chilies, uh, as well as uh, some coriander leaves, curry leaves, and uh, three to four garlic cloves, which I have crushed. And of course, you will need drumsticks. You can take two to three drumsticks, um, which I have uh, cut into small pieces. Um, and also, I've make sure you remove the top uh, skin uh, just with a knife. It's extremely hot outside, more than 100 degrees almost every day. The other day, it was around 103, 104 degrees. Really hot. So, um, coming back to the curry, here in a pan, I have added about two to three tablespoons of oil to which I'm going to add the tempering mix, which includes the mustard seeds, cumin seeds, tuar dal, a uh, little bit of uh, moong dal and fenugreek seeds. Once the mustard starts spluttering, add the onions and then saute it until it becomes translucent. You don't have to make it brown. And side by side, as you can see here, I have taken a pan to which I have added about one teaspoon of oil. And then you are going to add the uh, eggs and you're going to fry it by adding a little bit of turmeric and uh, chili powder. So when the egg becomes brown, just set it aside. Now, as you can see here, the onions have become translucent. Now to this, I'm going to add about half a teaspoon of turmeric and also the uh, drumsticks or moringa because drumsticks will require a little bit of uh, uh, cooking time uh, so i'm going to cook that first mix it well and cover it up and let it cook on a low flame for about six to seven minutes so as you can see here almost 90 percent the drumstick is cooked uh, at this stage, um, I'm going to add the chili powder. I'm, uh, here I'm adding about two teaspoons of chili powder. It's up to your taste. If you like it a little more hot, you can add some more of it. Again, close it and allow it to cook for two to three minutes. As you can see here, it's completely cooked. At this stage, I am going to add the tomatoes. Tomatoes does not require a lot of time to cook, so I'm going to close it and again cook for about two to three minutes. Okay, after two to three minutes, as you can see here, the tomatoes have pretty much cooked. Give it a good mix. And then what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to add the eggs and then add uh, the garlic, coriander leaves as well as curry leaves and then close the lid and again leave it there for about two to three minutes. And now as you can see here the oil is floating on the top which tells us that the curry is almost done. Now at this stage, uh, because we need a little more gravy, um, so what I'm going to do is just add about half a glass of water. You should not add too much of water, just half a glass of water so that you get gravy. So if you don't want gravy and li like it on a uh, drier side, you can stop right here. But since I am going to eat it with chapati, I have added about a little bit of uh, water to it then close the lid and then I'm going to again leave it for two to three minutes as you can see here our curry is all done uh, and I have a lot of gravy in there um, it's one of the simplest and most delicious and unique dish give it a try and let me know 
uh, if you like it so i'll see you again with one more such special dish uh, take care bye bye